Hello, it's Jim Games, and in this video I'm going to show you how to fix the ragdoll that is not working. So I've added this function, so when I press key, uh, X key, it should ragdoll, but it doesn't. So I will show you how to fix that. First, let's go to the, the character. And here you want to first check that you have uh, set, the, set simulate physics to true and on the mesh. Okay, not on the capsule component, on the mesh and simulate to the true. If they are like that, then you want to go to your mesh. And here you want to scroll down to the collision. And here on the collision preset, you want to change this to ragdoll. Okay, let's see if that works. Let's compile and play. Now, when I press X, it didn't do anything. Okay, so the next thing you want to check is you want to click the mesh again. You want to scroll up. And here, when you, where you go see your skeletal mesh asset, you want to click this pros to that file. Okay, it will show it on the content browser. Then you want to uh, double click your skeletal mesh. You want to see if the physics asset is set. And in my case, it's not set. As you can see here, physics, physics asset none. Okay, so we can set it to like this. So now we have uh, set the physics asset. Let's see if it works. Okay, now when I press X, it works. But sometimes, it, uh, for some reason, it doesn't work even after that. So I will show you. So let's disable the physics assets from here. So now it's none. So it shouldn't work. I will try quickly. Now it doesn't work. One more thing you can do. You can go back to your character, to the mesh, and you can search for a physics asset override from here. And now if you select the physics asset, you compile and go to play. Now it will work 100%. I will uh, promise you. So it works. So yeah, hope you got your problem fixed. And yeah, I think that was all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, hope you have a great day and see you in the next one. Bye.